and work with it. So at the end of the last video, I was showing again how to live trace your raster image into a vector. Once it's turned into, you hit expand from image trace, and then we'll go over this next class. But if I want to clean up any inking, I use vector tools. I use tools like the pencil tool to redraw lines or the smooth tool to fix things. And so I'm not perfectly happy with my line art yet, but it's pretty good. Like for instance, right here, I'm going to select it, then I'm going to redraw these curves with the pencil tool, both the inside and the outside. So let's say I was perfectly happy with this. We'll go over some other vector tools, and I'll even show you at the beginning of next class how to uh, use the blob brush just to do full inking within Illustrator. What I need to do now is save this as an EPS file to my computer. So to the desktop as an Illustrator EPS, and it's no longer a test file. I showed this in the last video, but this is my second time doing it. And I'm going to call this my line art, my black line art. So once it's an EPS, that is a portable vector format, which can be used in Photoshop, but that doesn't mean I want to open that file with Photoshop. Instead, I want to find that EPS file. I have two of them. I have this vector line EPS, and I have this one. I just live traced it twice. And the second time I started cleaning it up, so that's the one I'm going to keep. Come on. But they look almost identical, right? And if I zoom in on them, they are vectors. You'll never see pixels. But I can't post that to Canvas until I put it into some sort of raster context. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop, and I'm going to open a new file. And this time, instead of 10 by 10, I'm going to make it 11 inches wide by 14 inches tall. So in inches, 11 wide, 14 tall by 350 pixels per inch. This is the largest format we've done so far. This is to support when we use it as a poster. I'm going to use all the other defaults. So 11 by 14 by 350. And then I'm going to drag and drop the EPS I'm using in. So I'm using the Black Line Art Tiger EPS. When I drag and drop it, it will not force me to rasterize it. Instead, it will be a smart object that I can place, just like we did for our logos. And I can hold down Option and grow it from the center and give me plenty of room for coloring it. Then I hit Return and it's placed. And notice how it's a smart object. So now it is rasterized. There are pixels there, but it can be rescaled just like our logos to any scale we want, and it will always be as clean as possible. Now I'm just going to do this little correction before I save it. Because my scan was slightly tilted, my vector is slightly tilted. So I'm just going to hit Command T, and I'm just going to rotate my smart object a little bit and use my arrow keys to center it so it's not tilted anymore. But because it's a smart object, I didn't lose any quality at all, even though I transformed it. Bless you. All right, so now how do I post my line art to Canvas? Well, I can make a JPEG of this, or I can make a PNG of this with the background turned off. Either way. So I might, maybe I'll do the PNG. So I'll turn off the background, this free floating, clean line art. And I say, save a copy. And I'm going to make it SP23-1. And this is Carl Assignment 5, Black Line Art. Onto my computer. Onto my desktop. And I'll save it as a PNG. And then I'm also going to save it as a Photoshop file, because this is the file that I will put color behind to fully color my spot illustration starting next class. 
But between coloring it, I also, I'm going to clean up my vector a little bit, a little bit more, and then save it as a new APS and bring that in again. But this is how you get it to Photoshop. So now I just save it as a Photoshop file. And my Photoshop file is going to be my spot illustration. This is assignment five. It has the line art as a vector already in it. But we're going to be adding the color. Just like in the directions. So save to my computer, to my computer, to my desktop as a Photoshop file. And then I'm going to put them into my folders. Okay, now if I go to... kind of like that one. If I go to um, Canvas and I go to where I've been posting, right? This, these are two of the three components we need. We have our refined sketch, just my pencil sketch, my initial sketch. I've already posted that. Now I'm going to add to that my black, my final black vector line art. And because I can't put an EPS into Canvas, what I do is the JPEG or the PNG here. This is the one. That's why I usually mark them orange. So we get a lot of files for these projects. And then I can upload that. Okay. And then submit. So, the difference between your sketch and your clean vector line art that then we can color behind. And at the beginning of next class, I'll show you how we can make even more of that vector before we start coloring. We want line art for next class. And that will do it.